Welcome into the Baseball Softball Hitting Secrets Masterclass. Inside this class, what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you the rarely taught hitting secrets that helped me go from a 180 batting average to a Division I All-American. And I did this without spending a fortune on private lessons, okay? Because I know exactly how expensive some of these private lessons are getting out there. So my goal for this web class is to teach you one thing. And that's how to become a complete hitter, okay? We have some players that hit for a high average, but they lack in the power. Some people are just power hitters that try to hit home runs every at-bat. What we're going to do is we're going to teach you how to hit for a high average and for high power, okay? So players like Miguel Cabrera, who can win the triple crown, you know, those guys, they have high averages and high power numbers, and he can put the ball in the seats uh, any given moment, okay? So... Miguel Cabrera and guys like that are just complete all-around hitters, and I'm going to teach you the exact same stuff that they learn and how they're so successful, okay? So the three things that we're going to go over in this master class, uh, number one is going to be the number one secret to hitting, and this is how to never get jammed and seem like you're always hitting the ball in the sweet spot, okay? Uh, the second thing is we're going to teach you how to increase your ball exit speed. 10 plus miles an hour off of a tee in just 30 days. I've done this process with thousands of players. I know it works. And this uh, strategy that we use for bat speed and power, extremely powerful. Okay. And the last thing that we're going to talk about today is how to maximize your results from your training sessions. One of the big mistakes that I see players make lies right here. And I'm going to show you exactly how to implement a certain strategy to get the most results out of your training. Okay. So what I want you to do is... I want you to get a pen and a pad out. I want you to take notes and I don't want you to be distracted at all during this. Okay. Cause what I'm going to share with you today is the exact process that I went through and what I learned in order to become a division one, all American. So if you have to go ahead and lock yourself in the bathroom just to get some privacy to where you're not going to get distracted, turn your phone off. Don't check your Facebook notifications. They'll be there for you after this. I promise you're not going to want to miss uh, the content that we're going to cover um, inside this masterclass. Okay. So who is this for? All right, so this is for t-ball players, peewee players, youth players, high school players, college players. If you play baseball or softball, this is for you, okay? I get asked all the time, does this work with softball players? Yes, it does, okay? I'm a firm believer in a swing is a swing. So there's really not much difference between a baseball swing and a softball swing. And I'm able to say that because of the thousands of softball players I've worked with see massive results doing this process, okay? So if you want to become a complete hitter, increase your bat speed, and increase your power, this web class that we're going to do today is for you, okay? So before we get into it, first I just want to say or introduce myself. My name is Trey Sykes, former Division I All-American, and uh, I'm now the owner of Camwood Bats. I'm sure you've seen a lot of our stuff out there on the internet before. Um, and what we do is we teach hitters how to properly uh, swing, how to have the proper mechanics and how to increase the bat speed and power to become a complete hitter. Okay. And I've been very fortunate to be able to go and meet some of these players that I grew up watching on TV. Right. So here's a picture of me and Gregor Blanco. And I'm actually a big Braves fan. So growing up, I used to watch Gregor Blanco playing with the Braves. And he actually invited me down to his facility in Miami just so me and him can get in the cage and uh, show drills to each other and just talk hitting. And being able to do that kind of stuff is just awesome to me, okay? And here's a picture right here of me and Nick Swisher. And I don't know if you know who Nick Swisher is. Uh, he played with the Yankees. He was actually just on the Hall of Fame ballot as well. Um, so, and now he's an analyst with Fox Sports, so you might see him there as well. But if you know Nick, you know his energy levels are through the roof, right? And I had actually had to go do a hitting video with Nick where it was me and him on, on screen together in a cage talking hitting. And it was extremely difficult trying to match that guy's energy. I'll tell you that right now. But um, like I said, I'm able to go and do this kind of stuff, which is awesome. I'm able to see the players that I grew up watching. And uh, it's definitely extremely exciting for me to do that. But a lot of people ask me, well, who did I learn hitting from, right? And as you can see, this is a picture right here of Tony Gwynn and my hitting coach, Frank Gregory. So my, my hitting coach is right here in the red jacket. And who he learned from was Tony Gwynn and Rod Carew. And if you don't know who those two guys are, um, Rod Carew actually won seven batting titles during his career. And Tony Gwynn here won eight batting titles during his career. So between those two guys alone, 
15 batting titles, which means they led the MLB in batting average 15 separate seasons during their career. So I can promise you those two guys know a thing or two about hitting. So what I'm gonna teach you today is not something that I came up with myself. I did not come up with any of these strategies. This is just information that I learned from my hitting coach who learned from the greats like Tony Gwynn and Rod Carew, okay? So this is just information that was passed down to me. And I was lucky enough to learn it, and now I'm lucky enough to be able to teach it as well, okay? So this is where it all started for me. This is little 10-year-old Trey right here with uh, every desire to be, you know, one of the best baseball players that he could be, right? Um, so whenever I was a young kid, I was bigger than everybody, so I saw instant results right away. Um, I was always one of the top players picked uh, whenever I was young going pitching machine and all that. But as you know, there's a time where it comes where you have to move up to that big barrel bat, that drop three, right? And this transition absolutely destroyed me. I was not ready for it. I had no clue how to transition and be able to adapt to that new big barrel bat because the bat was just so heavy for me to swing, right? And I know a lot of players deal with that issue right now too is once they move up, the bat's too heavy and the mechanics start to break down, right? My junior year, I finished the year with a 180 batting average, okay? And as you know, 180 batting average is not very good, especially as a junior in high school. And now that I look back on it, like I always had the right desire and the good work ethic to want to be good at baseball. But my problem is I just didn't have the proper coaching. I didn't have that proper coach there to teach me the mechanics to go along with my work ethic. OK, so I was constantly working hard, but I was creating bad habits. OK, and I never got better. So how many of you have heard these terms before for some of the coaches right now? Swing down at the ball. Like I, I remember vividly, I was 10 years old in the batting cage and my coach was literally telling me to chop down on the ball like I'm chopping a piece of wood with an axe. OK, which is ridiculous. How many of you have heard the term squish the bug? I mean, that, that's a big one right there. If you squish the bug, all you're going to do is just spin off the ball. If you have a coach right now telling you you need to squish the bug, uh, you might need to find a new hitting coach. And the last thing is, how many of you have heard keep both hands on the bat? I remember growing up, I used to always watch Ken Griffey Jr. And as you know, he has that sweet swing where he releases the top hand right at contact. He finishes with one hand behind him. And as a little player watching that, I wanted to mimic him. So I remember going out to my game that night and, uh, you know, I'm in pitching machine and <laughs> I top hand release one swing and my coach chewed me out. It's like, you got to keep both hands on the bat. And, you know, looking back on it now, knowing the information that I know, I just know that I didn't have that proper coaching that I needed to be successful. And this is where it comes into play today is I see all this crazy stuff that's being taught and... It's just nuts to me because, like I said, what I'm going to teach you, I didn't come up with this myself. Um, you know, we learned this from guys like Tony Gwynn and some of the great, greatest hitters in the game. OK, so I knew that I only had one season left. Right. I just come off my junior year hitting 180. I knew I had one year left uh, to actually do something with this baseball thing. So I decided, hey, I'm going to work even harder now in this offseason to try to maximize what I can. And after practice one day, me and my teammate grab a bucket of balls. We head down to the cage uh, to get some extra work in. And I'm sitting there hitting. I'm pulling everything. I mean, I was a dead pull hitter at the time. Um, and as I'm hitting, this random guy just walks up behind me. And I, like, I could tell like he was sitting there staring at me as I was hitting. And he says, hey, why don't you try to hit the ball to the opposite field? And I look back at him like, who the hell is this guy, right? And me being the guy that I am, I tried to prove him wrong. I'm like, oh, I can easily do that. So I tried to hit the ball to the opposite field, and I couldn't do it. So after that round was over, I stepped out of the cage, and I started talking to this gentleman. And I saw that he was holding this weird-looking bat. And he says to me, if you commit to the process, I will teach you how to hit. And remember, I literally just came off the season where I hit 180. I had nothing to lose, even though I didn't even know who this guy was. I had somebody trying to help me hitting, okay? So I was like, yeah, I'll meet you here tomorrow and we'll start working together. So I come back the next day and sure enough, we start working together and we worked every day, Monday through Friday. And he was taking me through this process that he knew. And after two weeks of working together, we had our first summer ball league game, okay? We're playing our crosstown rival and I'll never forget it, literally. Because I'm facing a lefty 
he throws a two seamer that starts on the inside part of the plate and just cuts right back over the middle. And I just put a good swing on it. Up to that point, I have never felt a ball come off my bat the way that one did. And sure enough, I hit a home run out to left center. So that was my first high school home run. And it only came two weeks after I started training with Frank and training with this Camwood bat here. And it was at that moment that I knew that this was the process and this is what I needed to commit to. So that entire off season, Frank and I were working together and my senior season in high school I actually hit over 300 for the first time in my career. So I went from a 180 hitter to a 300 hitter instantly, right away, okay? And I had seen so much progress that I knew that I couldn't stop there. I didn't get any scholarship offers to go to college to play baseball, but I saw so much results so quick, I knew that I couldn't stop. So I ended up walking on in college, and you know, just three short seasons later, I was elected a Division I All-American. I mean, it's crazy to think, isn't it? I went from a 180 hitter to a Division I All-American in just three seasons after I found someone that could teach me the proper mechanics of how to hit. And the biggest reason I was able to elevate my career to that level is because I started training with the Camwood bat. So this here is the Camwood bat. And why it's so special is because it's a heavier training bat, but it doesn't break down your mechanics because the added weight is right here above the hands. So the bat doesn't feel as heavy as it actually is. And the main reason we created this Camwood bat is to have weight above the hands to promote driving your hands to the ball whenever you start your swing, okay? So if you can do that, it's gonna improve uh, your bat path, it's gonna improve your mechanics, okay? Because with this weight right here, just think about it, you having that weight that's driving your hands down inside the ball, which is gonna create that proper bat path, all right? And then once our player started training with it, we noticed a massive increase in bat speed and power as well. And come to find out, Frank came to my high school that day just to get a player to try the bat to get some sort of a testimonial. So I was pretty much like the guinea pig of the Camwood bat. I was one of the first players to ever use one. And the results that we saw were crazy. And now that my career is over, I saw so much success doing this and it transformed my career. I knew that other players needed to train with this Camwood bat and follow the same process that I did, right? I had so much knowledge on this. I wanted to see if it would work with another player other than myself. So what I did is I went and found someone that just bought a Camwood bat and reached out to him and I said, hey, I have this training, it's 30 days. I want you to follow this exactly for 30 days and report back to me and let me know your results, okay? So he just got a Camwood bat. Now I wanna show you exactly how to use it and get the most results. And this here is Gray, eight years old and the first player that I worked with with this process. And quite frankly, Gray was one of the worst hitters on his team. He was an eight, nine hole guy, struggled mightily at the plate. So whenever I gave him the opportunity to follow this system with the Camwood bat, they said, sure, right away. And he went through and followed it and the results were awesome. So here's the testimonial from Gray and his dad, Jeff, after just following this system for 30 days. Hello, my name is Jeff McDaniel. And I'm Gray McDaniel, and I'm eight years old. Last year, throughout the season, we had a little confidence struggle, and we ended up with 21 strikeouts. So we spent the summer doing a 30-day All-American program, and his bat speed just jumped off the charts, and his confidence soared. So his first tournament back, in the fall season, Gray here hit back to back to back home runs to the fence. Needless to say, the program has done wonders for Gray, and it's invaluable to have the access to the All-American 30-day program. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? He went from one of the worst hitters on his team to hitting three home runs the very first tournament back after following this system, okay, and training with the Camwood bat. So do you see how powerful this is? And now that I saw the results, not only from myself training with the Camwood, but now I have proof that it works for someone else as well, right? So at that point, I started working with more players, and it's gotten to the point now where I have coached over 19,000 players through this process. So it's to the point now where it's not like, okay, I'm going to see if this works. I know for a fact that this works. And what I'm going to teach you on this masterclass today is extremely powerful. And I know this because I've done this with thousands and thousands of players. And if you follow the guidance that I'm gonna share with you today, you too are gonna to start seeing the results just like this right here, okay? 
All right, so I always get asked, you know, what changed in order for me to become successful? Because a lot of the people knew that I wasn't a very good baseball player, and it seemed like out of nowhere I just became the best hitter on the team and started crushing the ball. And my hitting coach, Frank, taught me the number one secret to hitting. And that number one secret to hitting is how to stay inside the ball, okay? And I'm sure a lot of you have heard that term, stay inside the ball, but how many of you actually know what that means? A lot of people don't understand the concept of why you want to stay inside the ball. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share with you exactly why you want to do that and why it's a must if you want to be a complete hitter, okay? So I did a demonstration right here of why you want to stay inside the ball. So let's listen in. So the biggest issue I see with the majority of players today is they always want to try to pull the baseball, okay? So I want you to really think about that. I want you to think about the term pulling the ball and what has to happen in order for you to pull the ball, all right? So here's a representation of a fastball coming in. We have three balls lined up in a row here, and we're going to focus on hitting this middle ball, okay? So if I'm trying to pull the baseball, what I have to do is I have to take my sweet spot out around the zone in order to pull this ball to the left side of the field, okay? So I really want you to focus on what happens when I do that. So whenever I take my sweet spot out around this ball, look what happens when I'm a little bit late. I get jammed. If I'm perfectly on time, I can barrel that pitch up and have some success. But if I'm just a little bit out front, I'm hitting that ball off the end of the bat and I'm getting weak contact, okay? And that's the biggest issue of players that want to pull the ball is they don't consistently hit the ball hard, right? And that's because our timing has to be perfect in order to barrel the ball up, okay? And I heard, I'm sure a lot of y'all have heard you want to stay inside the ball or take your hands to the ball, but you've never really been taught why you want to stay inside the ball. And I'm going to show you exactly why you want to do that, okay? So the same thing, we're gonna to try to hit this middle pitch right here, okay? So if I learned how to relax my hands and drive my hands inside this ball, look what happens. If I'm a little bit late, I'm able to barrel that ball up. If I'm, a little, if I'm perfectly on time, I can barrel that ball up. And if I'm just a little bit out front, I'm still able to barrel that ball up and drive it to all parts of the field, okay? So does that make sense? So that's one of the biggest issues with players today is they always try to pull the baseball. But as you can see, whenever you try to pull the ball, you have to take the sweet spot of the bat out around the line that the pitch is coming in on. And what you're doing is you're leaving yourself vulnerable to get jammed or hit the ball at the end of the bat if your timing is not perfect. And as you know, it's very rare that your timing is absolutely spot on perfect and you crush that ball, right? So that's why hitters that are dead pull hitters are very inconsistent because their timing isn't perfect all the time, right? They're either getting jammed, hitting the ball at the end of the bat, and they're getting weak contact consistently, okay? But if we can learn how to relax our hands and drive our hands inside that ball, now it doesn't matter if our timing is just a little bit late, if we're perfectly on time, or if we're a little bit out front, we're still able to barrel that ball up and get hard contact consistently, okay? And that's why some of your best hitters like Juan Soto, Trey Turner, Miguel Cabrera, it seems like they're always barreling the ball up because they just drive their hands inside the ball and they never get their bat in a position to get jammed or hit the ball at the end of the bat, okay? So if you can learn how to relax the hands and drive the hands inside the ball, you're going to barrel up the ball much more consistently and your batting average is going to go way up really quick. All right, so right here, here's a video of Derek Jeter, obviously one of the best players to ever play the game of baseball, and he talks about his approach at the plate, and I want you to listen to the fact that he says that he was, it was predetermined when he got to the plate that he was going to stay inside the ball. Okay, let's take a listen. I'm going to go through some of the things, different pitches, where they were at, and how you stayed inside the ball. Here you are in 96, balls in the middle. You know, and you stay through the ball and rifle it off that porch, off that short porch in right center. It was predetermined that I was going to stay inside the ball. You know, for me, I wasn't good enough to guess pitches. I looked for one pitch every at bat, every pitch, fastball right down the middle. So I'd look fastball down the middle every single pitch, and my approach was to stay to right center field. Absolutely. And the reason why I would do that, I would stay inside the ball. So then I, I felt as though I was, I was tough to pitch to because it gives you more time. 
So does that make sense? Do you see why it's so important to stay inside the ball? And, you know, that's where the patented jeetering the ball came from is no matter where the ball was pitched, he knew in his mind he was going to stay inside the ball no matter what, okay? I don't care if the pitch was outside, middle, or inside. He knew that he was going to stay inside the ball. And that's where the jeetering the ball comes from is even though you throw 95 inside on him, he drives those hands inside the ball, and he's still able to get consistent contact and barrel that ball up and shoot it for a line drive to the opposite field. OK, and I don't know if you caught this little tidbit at the end. He said that he was staying inside the ball because it made him much harder to pitch to because he had more time. So what does that mean? Have more time. Well, that's because he always drove his hands inside the ball. So it doesn't matter if he was late, perfectly on time or out front of that pitch. He was still able to barrel the ball up. And that's why it is so important for you to master that concept of just driving the hands and staying inside that ball. OK. Now, a lot of people always talk about, you know, hitting is about timing. How many of you coaches and all that say, get, be on time, be on time, be on time? Well, let me ask you a question. You know, how many times do you go up to the plate and you are perfectly on time? I mean, you just absolutely crush that ball. You square it up and just mash it. Whenever I ask people that question, they usually say about one out of 10 at bats. So about 10% of the time. So hitting is not about being perfectly on time every at bat, right? Because you're only on time 10%. Hitting is about what you do when your timing is off, okay? And that's because your timing is just off 90% or more of your at bats, right? And what I mean by that is what happens when you're just a little bit late or you're just a little bit out front? Are you still able to barrel that ball up and have some success? OK, the greatest hitters in the game of baseball master the concept of staying inside the ball because their timing doesn't have to be perfect in order for them to make consistent contact. OK, does that make sense? And the way that I learned how to stay inside the ball is by training with this Camwood bat here, because with the added weight above the hands, what it's going to do is whenever you start your swing, just think about it. You have weight above the hands that are just driving your hands to the ball, which is going to create that proper bat path of staying inside it. Okay. So just by training with the cam wood, it's going to teach you that proper mechanics and the proper bat path of staying inside the ball. So here's one of the testimonials from Jeff. And I thought it was pretty funny. So Jeff said, um, now to be clear, I hate gimmicks. That being said, the Camwood bats are the real deal. The way that he introduced the Camwood bat to his 11 year old son was he set up a tee, put a bucket of balls, down showed him once how I wanted him to do it and then told him to hit two buckets of balls and then he just walked away <laughs> okay and he said I went away from him from about 30 to 45 minutes and when I came back he was a different hitter we did soft toss and I threw live to him I can go on and on about what this did for a swing and how much better he's gotten since they got the Camwood bat but he'll just say that it's been amazing Basically said that this is the only tool that he'll ever use to teach hitting again, okay? And it's pretty awesome that you're able to go just put a bat or put a tool into someone's hands and that tool is able to correct and teach the proper mechanics. And that's what you have with the Camwood bat. The Camwood bat is going to teach you the proper mechanics of how to stay inside the ball, okay? And here's a video of Tony Gwynn talking about why you want to train with a Camwood bat and why you want to lead with the hands and stay inside the ball if you want to be a complete hitter. So let's listen in. All right, Harold. Hi, everyone. My name is Tony Gwynn, uh, Hall of Famer. I used to play with the San Diego Padres for 20 years. And here's the thing I really like about the Camwood bat. It's really simple. Uh, most kids, we have the tendency to think that when we're hitting, we have to throw the barrel head at the baseball. And here to me is where the cam wood bat really kind of sets the table for you. And that is, in order to be a good hitter, you always have to lead with the now the bat. You always have to lead with the bottom hand and you let the barrel follow. You let the barrel trail. And so the hardest ball to hit in baseball is a good fast ball away. And if you learn to take the knob of the bat to the baseball and you get to that ball, fastball away, I guarantee you that the fastball in will be a whole lot easier to hit. And really it's about getting in a good position and taking the hands to the baseball correctly. And when I say taking them correctly, it's taking the knob of the bat to the baseball. And that's why this cam bat, to me, 
it's really a nice thing to have because it'll really help you understand the path that your hands have to take in order to make consistent contact. So that's pretty awesome right there, isn't it? You have one of the best players to ever play baseball say that your training bat is the best tool to teach how to stay inside the ball. And Tony, as he was the head coach at San Diego State, actually used the camera bat to teach his players that concept. Okay, so just a quick recap. The number one secret to hitting is staying inside the ball, okay? So now you should see exactly how important it is to stay inside the ball, and this is something that you need to master in order for you to become a complete hitter, okay? So now let's get into secret number two, how to increase your bat speed five to 10 miles an hour in just 30 days. Whenever I do this process with my players, uh, we see an average of 8.6 miles an hour uh, in a 30 day span, but I've even had some players increase by 20 miles an hour in 30 days. And I've had some guys that increased nine miles an hour in just one week of following this simple process, okay? So what we do is extremely powerful and we know that this will get you results when it comes to bat speed and power. All right, so how many of you have heard the phrase that training with a heavier bat is gonna slow down your swing? I've heard that many a times growing up, but I'll tell you right now, that is absolutely not true, okay? So I wanna ask you a question real quick, all right? If you wanna get stronger, what do you do? You're gonna to go to the gym and you lift heavy weights, right? I'll tell you, it's no different if you wanna increase your bat speed and power. You actually want to train with a heavier bat, okay? But there's a one big issue with all the heavy training bats on the market, and that's they're all inloaded. So all the weight is on the end of the bat. So it's kind of like the sledgehammer here. With all the weight on the end of the hammer, on the end of the bat, I want you to think about grabbing it from the handle and trying to swing it. With all the weight on the end of the bat, what it's gonna do is it's gonna force you to come out around the ball, and it's gonna break down your mechanics, right? So now when you take the same sledgehammer, same weight, I want you to grab it from right below the hammer, right? Now this is much easier for me to control. So now the hammer actually feels a lot lighter than it actually is, right? It's no different when you're training with this camwood bat. With all the weight right above the hands, it doesn't feel as heavy as it actually is, okay? So this is going to allow us to train with a heavier bat without breaking down our mechanics, okay? We're easily gonna be able to swing this just like a normal game bat, even though it's much heavier. So it's building our strength, okay? And now I wanna get into the bread and butter of how we get to see such massive increases while doing the bat speed training. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard this before, the overload and underload training, right? So the overload is your training with a heavier bat, and then the underload is your training with a lighter bat, okay? So the idea of it is uh, overload trainer, you're increasing the swing muscles, and then the underload, you're swinging with a really light bat, and you're hitting the fast twitch fibers in your swing, okay? And while doing these trainings, the way that I saw the absolute most results possible was whenever I did my overload training, it was with the camwood bat here, okay? And the reason for that is the camwood is a heavier bat, so it's building up those swing muscles, but I'm able to swing it just as fast as I do a normal game bat because of the weight placement with the weight right above the hands, okay? And whenever I drop down to the lighter bat or the underload, instead of using a fungo like a lot of people use or something lighter, I use my actual game bat, okay? And the reason for this is because Whenever I'm doing bat speed training, I'm training with the camwood bat, which is much heavier. Whenever I pick up my normal game bat, it feels extremely light, okay? So this is what I'm already used to training with, right? So in a game, whenever I grab my bat and I walk up to the plate, I'm using something that I'm doing my light training with, right? It's something that I'm already used to, and I'm extremely confident. I feel really good in the box, and I feel that this bat is extremely light, and I know I can swing it fast. Okay, so the confidence at the plate goes through the roof whenever you're doing this, all right? And I'm sure a lot of you are asking the question right now, well, how heavy is the Camwood bat? So our youth models are a plus six, which means a 30 inch bat is 36 ounces, and our adult models are plus 12s. So a 32 inch Camwood is 44 ounces in the adult. And I know exactly what you're thinking right now. This is way too heavy for me or for my child to swing, right? And I'll tell you right now, that can't be further from the truth. Did you know that the average MLB bat weighs 32 ounces? 
This right here is one of our 12 year old players training with a 37 ounce Camwood. So I want you to watch how easy he's able to swing this bat and it's 37 ounces. It's literally five ounces heavier than your normal MLB game bat weighs. So that's pretty crazy right there, isn't it? As you can see, he has absolutely no issues swinging the Camwood bat, okay? So this bat is not too heavy for you or your child to swing whatsoever. You will have no issues getting this bat around and training with it, all right? And as you can see, this is one of the testimonials that we got from uh, one of our players, Cam. As you see, Cam uh, hit a new exit velocity PR increase from 52 miles an hour to 71 miles an hour in just four months. Okay, that's pretty insane, isn't it? You go 19 mile an hour increase in just four months. Can you imagine what kind of impact that would have on your game right now if you increase 14 miles an hour in just a couple of months of training with the Camwood bat? It would be insane, wouldn't it? So here's another one of Daniel Small. You can see uh, both the average exit velocity and top exit velocity jumped 10 miles an hour in just 30 days, all right? Imagine that right there, just 10 miles an hour in 30 days. That would make your game go through the roof. You'd be a much better hitter if you had 10 mile an hour exit velocity gain in just 30 days. That's insane. And here's another uh, testimony of one of our players that saw seven miles an hour increase in just three weeks, okay? So even if you don't get those crazy 20 mile an hour jumps like some of our players do, I mean, I'd be pretty happy with a seven mile an hour increase in three weeks, right? I mean, that's like an extra, what, 20 to 25 feet of carry on your ball. It's just insane results that we're seeing from our players training with the Camwood bat when it comes to the bat speed and exit velocity, okay? So recap real quick. Secret number one, we went over the importance of staying inside the ball, okay? And secret number two, we talked about how to increase your bat speed drastically um, with the overload underload training. What's the overload? We're going to train with the Camwood bat. Underload is going to be our normal game bat, okay? And there's a very specific drill that we do between those two that's going to get you the absolute most results, and we'll get that to you later on in this training as well, okay? So now let's hop into secret number three. And with this one, I'm going to show you how to maximize your results from your training sessions, all right? So if you want to maximize your results, you need to follow a program or a training regimen, okay? You need to have a plan before you even get into the cage and start training, right? That's one of the biggest issues I see players. As I'm traveling around the country, going from facility to facility, I always see the same thing. Players just hop in the cage and they start swinging, right? And they have no intention whatsoever of what they're working on. They're just in there swinging, right? So they're not working on anything. And a lot of the times they're actually creating those bad habits, all right? So following a program or a regimen and having a plan filled out before you get to the cage is vital, okay? And the reason for that is because you know exactly what you're going to do that day before you even get in, okay? So you're already prepped, your mind's prepped, you have a plan, you follow that plan, it's gonna hold you accountable, and you're gonna start seeing the results, okay? And the way that I found this out was, you know, whenever I was growing up, I always had a massive problem with my weight. I, for no matter what I did, I could not lose the weight, all right? So I always grew up a chubby kid or a bigger kid. And one of my buddies calls me up and says, hey, you know, I've been following this program and I've actually lost 10 pounds in the first two weeks of doing it. So I'm like, oh man, I need to give that a try, right? Because literally everything I was doing before wasn't working. And I worked out every single day. I loved going to the gym and working out, but I just could not seem to get the weight off. So uh, since my buddy saw the progress, I said, all right, let me hop on it as well. And what I started doing was this exact program right here, where every single day he had a plan for me. So on day one, going into the gym, I knew exactly what I was working at, the exact amount of reps to do each set to get the most results. And by following this system and following this program, after 12 weeks, I lost 30 pounds. Okay. And that's when I found out that if you follow a system, follow a training program, you're going to see much higher results because it held me accountable. Okay. I wasn't just going in the gym, just willy nilly lifting weights. I had a game plan that day and that's how I was able to see the most results. Okay. And I thought to myself, if I just saw so much results following a program working out, what if I implemented this into my cage routines? 
you know, what if I, before I got to the cage that day, I knew exactly what drill I was doing and how many reps I was going to take that day to get the most results. And whenever I started implementing this training in college, I actually led my entire team in batting average, led my team in home runs in every single category. I actually hit over 350 my first year in college, was all conference first baseman. And that's how I was able to see such crazy results is I knew exactly what I was doing day by day and I kept progressing and getting better because I was holding myself accountable. All right. So it can be extremely simple. You know, you, you write down on a whiteboard, write down on a piece of paper. So whenever I go into the cage today, I'm going to do drill one for 50 swings, drill two for 50 swings, drill three for 50. That way you have a plan. Okay. I can't express that enough. So what it's going to do is going to hold you accountable. and It's going to make sure that you're getting the proper work done to see the results. All right. So by following a program, you will hold yourself accountable. You're going to create good habits and you're going to create that proper work ethic to be successful. Okay. And that's one of the main things that I'm still in our players is that work ethic. Okay. And once they start working through the process and they start seeing the results, now they understand what it takes to get where they want to go. Okay. And that was the same with me is once I saw that little bit of success, I hit my first home run after just two weeks of following this system. I then became addicted to the process and I knew, Hey, if I want to get to where I want to go, this is what I need to follow. And that's how I was able to become a division one, all American. And whenever I look back and I think about it, you know, that's exactly what Frank did with me. Whenever we started working together in high school, he was taking me through his process, his system. So he knew exactly what we were going to do that day whenever I showed up to train with him. So, you know, we started off with the basic drills and then we started progressing further and further the more we started working together, right? And the more I went along the process, the more results I saw and the more I was committed to the process, okay? He was teaching me that work ethic and what it took for me to get to the point where I was a successful baseball player and I was one of the best hitters on my team, okay? So real quick, just want to recap. Secret number one was the importance of why you want to stay inside the ball. Secret number two, we talked about how to increase your bat speed drastically by doing the overload, underload training. So overload with the Camwood bat, underload with your normal game bat. And then secret number three is you need to follow a program or follow a system to hold yourself accountable and create that proper work ethic that you need to be a better hitter, okay? And see the results that you want to see and that you deserve, okay? So how many of you might feel like this right now? Like you have a fire hose in your mouth. I know a lot of people will talk to me after events and all that, and they'll say that I talk extremely fast. But that's because like, I'm, I'm extremely passionate about what I'm teaching and how to help players become better hitters, okay? That's what I do, and that's what I pride myself on, is teaching players how to hit, okay? But I don't want you to worry. I want to help guide you through this process of how you can become a better hitter, okay? So what I did is I created a special offer just for the people on this master class to go ahead and get started, get involved with us, and let us help you become the best hitter that you can be, okay? So if it's okay with you, I wanna go ahead and show you exactly what we've put together for you. Is that okay? Good, because I'm extremely excited to come in here and guide you through the process and show you exactly how to get the most results in the next 30 days. So I wanted to make sure that you had everything that you possibly need to see the most results over these next 30 days. And that's why I created the All American 30 Day Challenge, okay? And it's called the All American 30 Day Challenge because this is the exact same program structure that Frank did with me whenever I first started working with him in high school. And that's what allowed me to go from a 180 hitter to a Division One All-American in just three seasons, okay? So I'm extremely excited to be able to guide you through this process to get you those results that you are looking for and that you deserve, okay? So the very first thing that you're gonna get inside this package is you're gonna get access to the All-American 30-day program, okay? And what this program is, it's gonna show you exactly what drills to do and how many swings to take each day for 30 days to get the absolute most results possible, okay? So as you can see right here, week one, we talk about hands, where we teach you how to stay inside the ball. Week two is about lower half. Week three, we're gonna marry those two together. And week four is all about bat speed and power, okay? And real quick, what I wanna do is I wanna show you a little bit of a behind the scenes, what you're gonna get whenever you get into the All-American 30-Day program today, okay? So real quick, let's hop in. I wanna show you exactly how to navigate and how easy and how simple it is to follow this day-by-day -day plan. Okay, so here we are inside the Camwood membership website. And I'm showing this to you on desktop. There is a mobile version of this as well. 
and I'm sure most of you will be uh, logging into this on your mobile phone, but as you can see, this is the setup. You see on the left side here, we have different tabs of content that you're able to access. So uh, we're talking about the All American Program Part 1, which is this 30-day program. So what we would do is we'd click on the tab All American Program Part 1, and you can see all of the days laid out, day one all the way through uh, day 30, okay? So if we're just now starting out, let's go ahead and click on day one here. You can kind of see how this is structured, okay? So the very first videos that we have up top are the demonstrations of the drill, okay? So we show you exactly how to do the drills, and we talk about what we want you to focus on and what we want to see from you as the player. And we also show you videos of other players doing the drills as well. So it's not just me doing the drill. We give you um, videos of other players that are doing it too, okay? So we want to make sure you have all the videos that you need to be successful during these drills. And as you can see here, as you scroll down, this is the workout for day one, okay? So you can see the drill in red, and then you can see how many swings to take, and then the pickup ball section is just your rest period, okay? So we're gonna take 25 swings, and then we're gonna take a rest, all right? So this is how every day is structured right here, all right? So it's very simple, very easy for you to follow, right? And if you scroll down more, you're gonna see the FAQ videos. So this is gonna be what we see most players struggle with during these drills and how to correct it right there on the spot. So you have every video that you need to be able to understand these drills and be able to perform them every single day, okay? That's extremely easy and simple to follow, isn't it? Okay, and whenever you get the All American 30 Day Program, you're also gonna be able to get rid of a few things, okay? So this program should not cost you money because of what it's gonna save you, all right? You can get rid of that expensive hitting coach. You can get rid of those expensive cage fees, all the other training aids that you might have. And I know for a fact, a lot of you are traveling an hour, two hours sometimes to go to your hitting coach. All that traveling, all that gas money can completely be saved, okay? The good thing about this program, and majority of our players do it from the uh, comfort of their own home, okay? So you're gonna be able to get these massive results that you're looking for, all from the comfort of your own home. So whenever you get into the program today, you're gonna to be able to get rid of all these things and it's actually gonna save you money, okay? So this is not gonna cost you anything, all right? And as you see here, this is a text message that we got from one of our members. And they said, I have spent thousands of dollars on private lessons and well over 20 grand over the years for travel ball and coaching since he was eight years old. I feel that they have learned more and gained more in the past 30 days for less than $500. See, how crazy is that? Someone spent well over $20,000 to try to get this information and learn this information to see those results, and all it took was the investment into the All-American 30-Day Challenge for them to start seeing these results that they wanna see today, okay? I mean, this is absolutely insane. How many of you have spent countless amount of dollars to try to get the proper coaching for your child, and you're just not seeing the results? Right? It's because they don't know the proper techniques of how to teach the proper swing, the proper mechanics. Okay, And that's what we're going to do right here. We're going to guide you through this process and help you get these results. So how many players have I already worked with during this process? As you can see here, this is a screenshot from a few weeks ago where we've had 19,945 members already inside the All-American program seeing the results, okay? And do you think we would have 19,000 people inside this program if it didn't work? So that's how you know for a fact that if you commit to this process, you too will see the results, okay? You're not gonna wanna miss out on this. So here's another testimonial from one of our members. And as you see here, he says, my 14 year old went from a 73 to 96 exit velocity in just three months of using the Camwood program. How crazy is that right there? 23 mile an hour increase in just three months on ball exits. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine what that would do for you or your child to gain 23 miles an hour in three months? I mean, that's insane, isn't it? And one of my favorite things about this is Logan is now the top player in the state of Connecticut and one of the best first basemen in the entire country now. And he's being recruited by all these colleges because of the progress and the results that he has seen by following this program, okay? And a lot of people ask, is this for softball players? Yes, this program is for baseball and softball players, okay? So here's another testimony from one of our softball dads. He said that these bats are amazing. My daughter went from a 58 to 62 mile per hour exit velocity to a consistent 70 to 77. 
amazing results. But you have to stick with the program, it works. I was a little bit skeptical, but now I'm a believer. I mean, how insane is that jump in ball exit speed right there, okay? So as you can see, if you follow this program, you follow this process, do you see how this will help you too? So who is this program for? I said it's for t-ball players, peewee players, youth players, high school players, college players. If you play baseball or softball, this program will help you. I've worked with six-year-olds. I've worked with professional baseball players, okay? And I've worked with everybody in between. This program works because it teaches you the proper mechanics of how to stay inside the ball and how to increase the bat speed and that power, all right? So the first thing that you're going to get inside of this challenge is you're going to get the Canwood All-American 30-Day Program, total value of $19.97. Okay, now that you have the program, now what do you need? You know you're going to need your own personal Camwood hands and speed trainer, right? So you're also going to get the Camwood bat, and I know you're already thinking, well, what if I already have the Camwood hands and speed trainer right now? Well, it's simple. You can either go ahead and move up to that next size Camwood bat because you're going to progress to that level anyways. But if you already have the Camwood bat and you don't want to move that next size up, don't worry. There is also going to be an option for you without the Camwood Hands and Speed Trainer involved in this package, okay? So don't worry about it. So what size Camwood bat should you use? Okay, so we always recommend the same length as your game bat, okay? If you swing a 30-inch game bat, you want to swing a 30-inch Camwood. Does that make sense? And I know a lot of people are worried about the ounces of the bat, but don't worry about the ounces of the bat because the way the bat's designed, it doesn't feel as heavy as it actually is. So the main thing that we're worried about and we're focused on is we're training with the same length bat that we swing in game, okay? So if you swing a 33-inch uh, game bat, you want a 33-inch camwood, okay? So here's another testimonial from the Camwood Bat. They says, absolutely fantastic product with great service and response times. I'm a believer in this product after watching my eight-year-old son and his teammates use it over the spring season. I've been around the game my entire life and was able to play at a high level, and I've never seen a product get results like this one. It eliminates bad habits in a way that I can't as their coach. They instantly see results, and I've watched their confidence skyrocket as well. Keep up the good work. So how awesome is that right there? If you had a full team of players that had the, just a confidence skyrocket. They just know every single time they go up to the plate that they're gonna get a hit, right? And the way that you can accomplish that is just by training with the Camwood bat, okay? Do you see how important it is to have the Camwood bat as a part of your arsenal? So here's another testimonial right here. He said, I was skeptical at first. All I can say is, wow, the results that we have seen so quickly is insane. My son's ball to speed jumped five miles an hour in just 10 days. Of training with the Camwood. How awesome, like can you imagine what you would do with five extra miles an hour in just 10 days? And that's less than two weeks and you're improving that. I mean that's an extra 20, 25 uh, feet of flight on the ball right there in less than two weeks. That's insane. And now that you see over 700 people have rated the Camwood bat five stars, don't you think that if you train with the Camwood bat you would see the success as well in those results? I think so. All right, so here's what you're going to get inside this package. The first thing you're going to get is access to the Camwood All-American 30-Day Program. You're also going to get your own personal Camwood Hands and Speed Trainer, a total value of $2,097. But now that you have that, now what do you need? You need access to your own Camwood one-hand trainer. So whenever we teach how to stay inside the ball, we always start with the one-hand bat, okay? So this is a vital piece to the All-American program and make sure that we teach you how to stay inside the ball properly. And this right here is a video of Nelson Cruz, one of the best hitters in the game of baseball, three-time silver slugger, and this is a drill that he does every single day before practice and before games to teach him the proper mechanics of how to stay inside the ball. So let's watch in. Price on. So that would be the drill. I take 10 swings like that. <laughs> Yo, he's a machine. By the way, every single ball, every <laughs> single one of those balls went to the same exact. That's pretty awesome right there, isn't it? So don't you think that if this is a drill that major league players and some of the top hitters in the game are doing, don't you think that you should be doing that drill too? So what they're doing is they're teaching themselves the muscle memory of how to stay inside the ball by training with the one hand bat, okay? And that's what you're gonna get, all right? So here's what you're gonna get inside this package. You're gonna get access to the Camwood All-American 30-Day Program. You're gonna get your own personal Camwood Hands and Speed Trainer. And you're gonna get your own Camwood One Hand Trainer, okay? Total value of $2,147. But now that you have that, you might be thinking to yourself, well, how do I know if I'm doing the drills correctly, right? I'm a mom, I'm a dad that doesn't really understand baseball on the swing, 
So how do I know if I'm doing it right or if my child's doing it right? That's why we give you access to the Camwood Coaching, okay? So as you can see, a part of the Camwood Coaching is you get access to the texting hotline, okay? So all you have to do is, just, if you have a question during the drills, all you have to do is text that hotline, and you're going to get access to a Camwood Coach that's going to help you right away, okay? You're also going to get access to weekly live Zoom calls. So we have Camwood Coaches that go live once a week and allows the entire community to come together to ask questions. That way you have all of your questions answered and you get the most results possible, okay? And the third thing that you're gonna get is access to the private Camwood community, okay? Inside this community, it's a Discord channel where we allow you to go in, you can upload videos, you can ask questions, you can interact with the uh, other members of the Camwood community, and you interact with the members of the Camwood coaching staff all right here, okay? And there are professional baseball players that are inside this Discord, okay? So you're gonna be able to interact with professional baseball players and get some advice and some tips from them as well. Uh, one big name that I know that's in here is Wes Helms. Wes Helms spent almost two decades in the major leagues playing and coaching. So he has a vast knowledge of baseball, okay? And you're gonna be able to go in here and interact with guys like that, okay? So this is extremely valuable. So real quick, I wanna hop in and I wanna show you a behind the scenes of what it's like to interact inside the Discord and interact with the Camel community. Okay, so now we're inside the Camwood community, and I want to show you exactly how easy and how simple it is to interact with the Camwood staff and other members of the Camwood community, okay? So this is the Discord. Uh, this is the desktop version of it. There is an app that you can download to the phone to make it extremely simple for you to just message with us right there on the phone, okay? But as you can see over here on this left side, we have different categories, okay? So you see the baseball chat, you see the softball chat, and here you're gonna see a private chat to the All-American Part 1. So if you're going through the drills and you're having issues and you wanna to talk to us, all you have to do is go to this members chat right here. So you click on members chat and you can kind of see how the structure is, right? So as I'm scrolling through, you can see people are asking questions, they're posting videos, and what we would do as a staff is come in here and critique these videos for you to make sure you're doing the drills correctly, okay? Do you see how valuable that is right there? that you literally have access to the Camwood staff right at your fingertips, okay? So that's pretty awesome right there, isn't it? Do you see how valuable this tool is that you can have access to all of these people that have so much knowledge about the game of baseball and about this program, to, that way you can get the most results in just 30 days, okay? So real quick, here's a testimonial, and I love this video right here. This is probably my favorite testimonial that we have. And this is from a single mom who knew absolutely nothing about baseball or softball. No clue whatsoever about the swing. And she decided to jump into the program because she wanted to provide her son the best coaching possible, right? And even though she didn't have a good understanding of it, she saw that she had access to the Camwood coaches and she took full advantage of that. So let's listen into this testimonial and see how her son went from barely being able to hit the ball in the infield to hitting 15 home runs off of a tee in just 30 days. It's insane. So I videotape a lot because I can, if I can't explain it, I can show him what it looks like and, and hopefully he can see what he's doing and how to, he can fix it himself. So that day I had videotaped a little bit and then um, the first swing that he had that went over the fence, I turned around and I looked and I, did that really just go over the fence? And he had the biggest smile on his face and coach had the biggest smile on his face and they were like, yep, that was his first home run. And I was like, no way, can you do it again? And I'm not, it was between 12 and 15 that he did that day. It was the first time I met him at a hitting session, walk away with a smile on his face. So how awesome is that right there? I don't care if you have literally zero knowledge of the baseball or softball swing, what the resources that we're able to provide you and the Canwood coaches right at your disposal, you will be able to get through this program and see those amazing results like this. So here's everything that you're gonna get inside this package. You're gonna get access to the Camwood All-American 30-Day Program. You're gonna get your own personal Camwood Hands and Speed Trainer. You're gonna get a Camwood One Hand Trainer. And you're gonna get access to the Camwood Coaching to make sure that you are getting the proper results and we're able to guide you through this process, okay? A total value of $3,144. And whenever you order today, we're also gonna throw in a little special bonus, okay? And that is a Tony Gwynn Approach five minute video, okay? So this is the approach that Tony Gwynn had at the plate that made him such a successful hitter, all right? And as you know, Tony Gwynn was an eight time batting champion. So he led the MLB in batting eight times throughout his career, 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure that guy knows a thing or two about hitting, and we're going to give you his exact approach at the plate of what made him a successful hitter. Okay, so I just want to, if this package, if all this did was increase your ball exit speed five miles an hour in 30 days, would that be worth it? That's an extra 30 feet of distance on the flight. Okay, and we did this process with an entire high school team. I mean, 20 plus players, and they averaged 8.6 mile an hour increase in just 30 days. Okay. So there were players that gained more than that in 30 days. And at the bare minimum, they gained five miles an hour. That was the worst player on the team gained five miles an hour. So if you just saw five miles an hour in 30 days, I mean, that would be a drastic difference in your hitting, wouldn't it? So if all this did was finally fix your mechanics and allow you to barrel the ball up more consistently, would it be worth it? Yeah, it would, okay? And if all this did was show you the proper work ethic to exceed at anything in life, would it be worth it? So the work ethic that we're gonna teach you, I mean, I've applied this to the rest of my life, okay? And that's what helped me become successful, not only in baseball, but in life as well, okay? So would it be worth it? And I wanna know, what would this mean to you? Everybody has a different motivation factor, okay? What this program meant to me, this program right here saved me thousands and thousands of dollars in tuition money I would have had to have paid at college if I would have went, right? But instead, I did this program and I ended up getting a full ride scholarship to go to college, okay? So what would this mean to you? I mean, this was pretty drastic for me, right? So can't you see why this is such a good deal at $3,144? I mean, this saves me tens and tens of thousands of dollars and tuition money I would have had to have paid at college, right? So can't you see how this is such a good deal? And I had two choices when making this. The first option is I can go as cheap as possible and I can sell as many as possible. But that wouldn't really incentivize me to stack on the value that you need to make sure that you are successful and guarantee that success during this program. Or the second option is it requires a little bit of a higher investment on your end, but in exchange, I can devote more resources more time to guarantee your success, okay? And because I want you to see all these results, you can get started right now for just $247, okay? Don't you see how much value that this is creating? All you have to do if you're ready to get started right now is go to go.camwoodbats.com and let's get started today, okay? And I wanna ask you a question. Which one of these is a better investment for your game? Is it to go and buy that $400, $500, the most expensive game bat on the market, or is it invest in $247 today so I can show you exactly how to use that game bat in the game, okay? I'm sure you've heard the term that that $400 bat doesn't fix a $1 swing, right? And it's true. I can take a team that I take through this All-American 30-Day program and give them a wood bat to use in game, and we would crush a team that had all the most expensive game bats that you can think of in their lineup, okay? And the reason for that is because we're gonna teach you the proper swing. All right, so can you see how this is much more valuable to go through the All-American 30-Day program than it is to have that expensive game bat? I mean, it's a no-brainer, okay? And I wanna put this into perspective for you, okay? I charge $200 per hour for a private lesson, okay? And inside the All-American 30-Day program, there's 22 different sessions. So that's a total of $4,400 if I was to do this one-on-one -on -one with you and my hitting coach, Frank, that taught me this process, he goes and he does a two-week program where he charges $225 per player, and there has to be a minimum of 40 players at that camp, okay? So at the minimum, he charges $9,000 for him to go out and do this program with players, all right? So now you have two choices. The first option is you do nothing. But just know that when you do nothing, nothing is going to change, okay? There's going to be no progress made, right? Or you can take this second option. You can go all in with the All-American 30-Day Challenge and you can get the results that you're looking for and that you deserve. And if I can't get you the results, then I do not deserve your money. All right, does that make sense? And I'm so confident in our program that you're gonna see the results instantly that I'm offering a full money back guarantee. If for any reason you don't see the results that you're looking for after those 30 days, I will give you a full refund, okay? So a lot of the question is, what happens after the 30 days are over, right? For the next 50 orders, and if you order right now, you will have access to the All-American program for life, okay? So you're gonna be able to go through the program, see those crazy results, and then once the off season comes and you're about to get ready to start kicking back up, you're still gonna have access to the program and you're gonna be able to go through it again 
before season starts, okay? So if you order right now, order today, you will have access to the All-American program for life. So if you're ready to get started right now, go ahead and open up a new browser window and go to go.camwoodbats.com and let's get started right now so we can go ahead and get these bats shipped out to you, okay? I'm going to show you how easy and how simple it is to go ahead and get started today, okay? So if you're ready to get started with us, I want you to open up a new browser and I want you to type in go.camwoodbats.com, okay? And once you get to this page, you're going to see that it's time for you to choose your package, all right? So as you can see here, this is the pay, uh, the baseball category. So if you need the full package, you're going to click on this link right here, or you're going to click on this button. But if you already have a Camwood bat and you just need the one-hand trainer, you see we have the option for you right here as well, okay? So you would click on this link or this button, and that will take you to the page to get that, all right? And if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see that we have a softball version as well, okay? So if you're a softball player and you need the full package, you're going to click on this button, and if you uh, already have a softball camwood bat and you just need the one-hander plus the package, you're going to click on this button right here, all right? So let's just say that I'm a baseball player and I need the full package, okay? So I'm going to click on this button. And you see it's going to take us to this page here where it's time for us to choose our bat size, okay? And like I said before, we're going to have the same length camwood as our game bat, okay? So let's just say that I train with a 30-inch game bat. So I'm going to want a 30-inch camwood, so we're going to select that. And don't worry, we automatically match the one hand bat to the game bat, okay? So if you choose a 30 inch camwood bat, we know to send the youth one hander out to you. If you choose a 33 inch uh, camwood bat, we know to send you the adult one hander, so on and so forth, okay? So we're gonna select our bat size, we're gonna click add to cart. And once we get into our cart here, um, you're also going to be able to add other items such as the tees, nets, so on and so forth that you may need. But say you just need this package right here, we're going to go ahead and click check out. So once you click check out, it's going to take you to this page right here to enter your shipping information, okay? So I just went and filled it out with some uh, random information. So once you have your information in there, you're going to click continue. So continue to shipping. See the shipping is going to be free. So don't worry about payment for shipping. So and then once we get to this page, it's time for us to enter our credit card information, okay? So as you can see right here, you can enter your credit card, just simple. Or if you want to break this up into separate installments, maybe you want to pay over a certain amount of months. Maybe you want to break it into four payments instead of one all up front. You can click on Shop Pay right here and do that. If you want to link your PayPal account, you can do that right here. And if you don't know this, PayPal actually offers a thing where you can do a six-month credit, okay? So you can pay for this with your PayPal right now and not have to pay PayPal back for over six months, okay? So you can break that up into however many payments you need to make sure that we can go ahead and get started today, okay? So there's no excuses as to why we can't get going right now and you can start seeing the results, okay? And there's also a, a payment option for Amazon Pay. If that's easier for you, you click that option and use that, okay? And then once you have your payment information in, all you have to do is just click on Pay Now below, okay? And once you click on Pay Now, it's gonna go ahead and shoot that message to my shop. We're gonna get it, and we're gonna go ahead and ship those bats out to you as soon as possible, okay? It will be shipping out today, or it's gonna be shipping next business day at the absolute latest, okay? So once you click on Pay Now, uh, you'll also get an email with access to the All-American program right away, okay? So the moment that you pay, you're going to get an email. You're going to be able to go and set, it, uh, set up your login. You're going to be able to access the training right now, okay? That way you can go ahead and start interacting with the Camel community, and you can start getting a game plan for what you're going to do the moment that your bats do come in, okay? And like I said before, uh, we ship everything two to three business days, so you should have your bats within three days, okay? That way we can go ahead and get started and uh, so you can start seeing those results right now. So now that you see how simple it is to get started with us today, go ahead and open up that new browser, go to go.camwoodbass.com, and let's get started. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go over uh, some of the most commonly asked questions that we receive in the chat room, okay? Uh, so question number one is going to be what size camwood should I buy? We always recommend that you train with the same length bat that you swing in game. Okay, so if you swing a 30 inch game bat, you need to be training with a 30 inch camwood bat. Okay, and if you swing a 33 inch game bat, you need to be swinging a 33 inch camwood. Does that make sense? Don't worry about the weight of the bat because the way the design of the bat is made, uh, doesn't feel as heavy as it actually is. Okay, so the length that we're training with is the most important factor here. All right, so we're gonna train with the same length bat that we swing in game, all right? So if you're ready to get started right now, go ahead and go to go.camwoodbats.com. Let's get started right now, all right? 
So next question is, can I do this program from home? And see, that's one of the best things about this program. I'd say 99% of the people that go through this program do it from their garage or their backyard. So that's what makes this so simple, is that you're able to set up a net, set up a tee, and follow this program from home. All you have to do is just take a couple of videos of you doing the drills, upload it to the Discord, and you're going to have the Camwood coaches right there critiquing your swing, okay? That way we're able to show you exactly what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and what you need to focus on. But that's the beauty of this program is you never have to leave your house. So there is no more going and traveling two hours to a hitting coach two times a week. That's just unnecessary, okay? We can get you better results from the comfort of your own home than you going and getting uh, lessons from a coach that doesn't necessarily know the process of how to teach the proper swing, okay? So yes, you can do this program from the comfort of your own home, in your garage, or your backyard. It doesn't matter, okay? So if you're ready to get started right now, go to go.camwoodbass.com and let's get started today, okay? So the next question is, is the bat too heavy for my child or for me to swing? Uh, no, the bat is not too heavy, okay? So the way the design of the bat is, the weight is right in the middle of the bat, right above your hands, okay? So it's much more balanced and it doesn't feel as heavy as it actually is, okay? So it feels much lighter than what it is, all right? And did you know that the average MOB bat size is 32 ounces? Okay, we have 12 year old players training with 37 ounce Camwood bats and they're swinging it with no issues whatsoever. Okay, so we have 12 year old players that are training with a bat that's five ounces heavier than your normal MLB bat uh, weight is. All right, which is insane. And the reason they're able to do that is because of the design of the bat with the weight right above the hands. So is the bat too heavy for me to swing? No, the bat is not too heavy. We have six year olds that are training with the Camwood bat that are plus sixes. Okay. So if you're ready to get started right now, go to go.camwoodbats.com and let's get started today. So the next question is, when will the bats be delivered after I purchase today? So we already have the bats already made in the shop. So once you order, uh, they're gonna be shipping next business day, if not the exact same day that you're placing this order right now, okay? So we have people in the shop that uh, they work until three o'clock Eastern time. So if you put in your order around noon, one o'clock, it's gonna be shipping that day, but if not, it's definitely gonna be shipping the next business day, okay? And we're using UPS, FedEx Ground, it's getting to you in two to three days. So if you order it today, it's most likely you're gonna get this in two to three days, okay? Which is gonna be, extremely fast that way you can go ahead and get started and you can start seeing the results right now all right so if you're ready to get started uh open up a new browser go to go.camwoodbass.com and let's get started today all right and i'm a parent with no knowledge of baseball or softball will this help me yes just because of the resources that we're able to provide to where all you have to do is take a video upload it to the Discord group, and you have the Camwood coaches right there at your fingertips to help guide you through this process, okay? So there's no excuse whatsoever as to why you can't see the results. I don't care if you have no knowledge of baseball or softball or if you played in college or a professional player, all right? We have the coaches at your fingertips that will help guide you through this process, all right? And that's why it's extremely valuable to have access to that uh, Camwood community. That way you can interact with all the members of the community and the Camwood coaching staff as well. So even if you don't have any knowledge whatsoever, this program and this process will still help you, okay? So if you're ready to get started right now, go ahead and go to go.camwoodbats.com and let's get started today, all right? So the next question is, what age should my child start the program? So this program is the, very, is the basic fundamentals of teaching the proper mechanics, okay? So we have players that start this at the five to six year old range, okay? Because the parent just wants to go ahead and get the proper mechanics um, and the proper habits in place, all right? Because it's extremely tough to take a player that might be in high school and eliminate all the bad habits that they've accumulated and teach them the proper mechanics, okay? so. The age limit to start your child, we've done everything from five years old all the way up, okay? Um, yeah, five years old and six years old, it's more so about, you know, the child having fun in the game. It's not necessarily being 100% mechanically correct. Uh, so we want to focus more on the hands and teach them how to stay inside the ball at that young age. 
before we transfer over into the lower half and all the other aspects of the swing, okay? So whenever I'm working with a younger player, we're gonna focus more on the hands part, teaching uh, how to stay inside the ball before we uh, transfer over into the lower half and all the other aspects, okay? Because the hands are the most important part of the swing. So um, what age should your child start? I mean, I would recommend five, six years old uh, just to get the proper habits in. But the main thing about them at that age is about development. It's about making sure that they're enjoying the game of baseball, okay? So if you're ready to get started, uh, go to go.canwoodbats.com and let's get started today, okay? So can this program be done during the season? This is a good question that I get a lot. And uh, yes, this program can be done during season. And the reason for that is because we're teaching you the proper mechanics of how to stay inside the ball, okay? Staying inside the ball is the number one key to hitting because if you can master that concept and how to stay inside the ball, it doesn't matter if your timing is a little bit late, if you're perfectly on time or you're a little bit out front, you're still going to be able to barrel the ball up, okay? I've seen players take these hand drills and they're able to implement it right away with no issues during the season, okay? Because it's the most important thing that we can teach your player is how to stay inside the ball, all right? So yes, this program can be done during season and you'll actually start seeing the results very quickly, okay? So if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbass.com and let's get started today. So the next question is, what happens after I purchase? So after you purchase today, uh, the shop is gonna get a notification that you ordered and they're gonna go ahead and get those bats shipped out to you ASAP, okay? But the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna get an email uh, that's going to give you a link to sign into the All-American 30-Day Program, okay? It's going to sign you into the Camwood membership site, and our system is going to link the email that you purchased with with the email that you signed up with, okay? So the moment that um, your purchase goes through, the system is going to tag your email to unlock the All-American 30-Day Program, okay? So... After you purchase, you're gonna get an email with all the instructions to get access to the program. You're gonna get access to the program right away. And um, you can go ahead and start going through the videos and uh, get a plan together of what you're gonna do uh, while you're waiting for your bats to get to you, okay? Because the bats are gonna take about three to four business days to get to you. So it's gonna give you plenty of time to get a plan together, get inside the program and see exactly what we're about and start interacting inside the community, all right? So if you're ready to get started right now, go to go.camwoodbats.com and let's get started today. So next question is, is this for softball players as well? Yes, I'm a firm believer in that a swing is a swing, okay? So whenever I'm working with my baseball players and when I work with my softball players, I'm teaching them this exact same process, all right? And I'm able to say that because I have seen drastic results, crazy results from the softball players just as well as the baseball players, okay? So I don't necessarily think that there's a difference between the two swings, okay? So yes, this program will work for you if you're a softball player as well, all right? So if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbats.com. Let's get started today, all right? So the next question is, will this program work for me? So I would say that, you know, it's up to you. How bad do you want to be successful? right? I'm giving you all of the resources that you possibly need to see the results over these next 30 days. And I'm able to say that because I've seen thousands and thousands of players go through this process, okay? And the ones that see the most results are the ones that take advantage of the resources that I provide, okay? They take advantage of the Discord community where they can interact with the Camwood coaches. They're posting videos so the Camwood coaches can critique and make sure that you're doing the drills correctly, Okay, the ones that I see get the most results are the ones that are doing that. And the ones that see the least results are the ones that think, okay, I can just do it on my own. I understand the drills. I'm just going to go out and do it. You can see results that way, and you are going to see the bat speed increases and the power increases. But the ones that get the best results mechanically and the power and bat speed increases are the ones that take advantage of the Camwood coaching. Okay, so will this program work for me? Yes, it will work, but you need to be committed to the process. Okay, so if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbass.com and let's get started today. So the next question is, what if I already have a Camwood bat? Well, you can go ahead and move to that next size up or there's gonna be an option for you to where uh, it's just gonna come with the one-hander plus the program and the uh, Camwood coaching, okay? So whenever you go to go.camwoodbass.com, you're gonna see that there's options for you to choose from 
Um, and you'll see the option there with the one-hander plus all the other digital products that come with it, okay? So there is an option that does not have the Camwood Hand and Speed Trainer in it. Um, but my suggestion is to go ahead and get that next size Camwood up because you're gonna uh, move up and you're gonna elevate to that next size anyways. So you might as well take advantage of this offer right now and go ahead and get that next size up, okay? So if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbest.com. Let's get started today. So the next question is, well, what if I don't have a cage to hit at? Well, majority of the players that go through this program actually do this program from home, okay? So all you need is a net and a tee to hit off of, and you can literally just take a picture or a video in your garage doing the drills, and you can upload them to the Discord community, and we're gonna be able to critique your mechanics right there, okay? So you were able to do this program from home so you don't have to go to a cage to hit. And maybe you don't have a net to hit into. Well, I've had players that literally use wiffle balls during this program. They just go in the backyard and hit wiffle balls, and then they go and do 25, 30 swings, and they go pick the balls up. I mean, it all depends on how bad do you want to see the results and become a complete hitter, okay? So not having a cage to hit at is not a reason to not get into this program right now, and so you can start seeing those results that you deserve, all right? So this program can literally be done from home. 99.9% .9 of the people that go through this program do it from home. So if you're ready to get started right now, go to go.camwoodbass.com and let's get started today, okay? So what if I have a question about a drill mid-program? Well, this is where we give you access to the text hotline, okay? So what you're able to do is if you have a question while you're doing the drills, you can go to the text hotline, shoot out a text or a video real quick, asking the question, and we have Camwood coaches that are monitoring that Camwood hotline for you, okay? So you're able to get answers relatively quick, and you're able to uh, make the adjustment and improve. That way you're uh, getting the most results possible, okay? So if you have a question mid-program, hit up the, uh, the texting hotline, or you can hit us up in the Discord, just at uh, the Camwood coaches, and we'll make sure to get a response to you as quick as possible, okay? So make sure that you're taking advantage of the resources that we have available and that we provide you, all right? So if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbass.com, and let's get started today. So what happens after the 30 days? Well, like I said, if you order right now, you order today, you're gonna get access to the Camwood All-American program for life, okay? So you're gonna be able to go through this program once, see the amazing, awesome results, and say maybe the off season comes and you might take a few months off or a, a couple weeks off. Well, whenever we get started back up to get geared up for the season, you're still going to have access to the program to be able to go through it again. That way we're making sure that we're getting consistent with the drills and we're ready to, for the season to start. We're ready to get those results. Okay. So after the 30 days, uh, you're still going to have access to this program. You're going to be able to access it for the rest of your life um, if you order it today. Okay. So if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwinbass.com. Let's get started today. So the next question is, why do I use a one-hand trainer? So I found that it is extremely important to use a one-hand bat to teach how to stay inside the ball, okay? Because what we want to do is isolate the lead hand and teach you how to drive your hands inside the ball off the tee and let the barrel follow through, all right? So as you saw the video of Nelson Cruz doing this drill, um, it's extremely important to work on that muscle memory and to isolate the lead arm from the rest of the body, teaching you how to stay inside the ball, okay? So we definitely use the one-hander every single day inside the All-American 30-Day Program, okay? So it is a vital tool, and you're going to get access to it by, uh, by opting into this program today, okay? So if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbest.com, and let's get started today. So the next question is, do we hit off of a tee or is it a toss during the program? So the All-American 30-Day program is strictly tee-based, okay? So everything is going to be off of the tee, and we're going to be working on hitting the outside pitch, all right? And the reason for that is because we want to teach you how to stay inside the ball properly off of a tee before we move into the front toss and into a live game speed uh, type situation, okay? Because if you can't be consistent off of a tee where the ball is not moving, you're not going to be consistent whenever we get to the toss and to live game speed. So we're going to do 30 days strictly off the tee to uh, work on that muscle memory and get that consistency of staying inside the ball before we move on to the greater things. All right. So the 30 day All-American program is T based. OK. 
So if you're ready to get started, go to go.canwoodbass.com and let's get started today. So the next question is, do we need baseballs or softballs to complete this program? Uh, no, you do not. Obviously, you have to have something to hit, but it doesn't necessarily have to be baseballs or softballs. I've had players go through this program where they use orange foam balls. I've had players use wiffle balls. I've had players literally use anything that they can find to hit off of the tee. So it's more so about the swing and about the mechanics, not so much what are we hitting off the tee, okay? So if you don't have baseballs, you don't have softballs, just go to the local Dollar General to a Walmart. I mean, you can use tennis balls. You can use wiffle balls. You can roll up some socks if you need to. I mean, there's options for you to use if you don't have baseballs and softballs, okay? So you don't need that to complete the program. We're actually trying to teach you how to stay inside the ball and the proper mechanics of the swing, okay? So if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbass.com and let's get started today. So the next question is, can the camwood bat break? These camwood bats are wood bats, okay? So yes, they are liable to break. If you hit one off the end or you get jammed, just like any other wood bat on the market, it could break, okay? But if we're working this program, we're working off the tee, it will not break, all right? The only time it's gonna break is if you start doing live, uh, live toss, live BP, or live game action with the cam wood and catch one off the end, okay? So, uh, and actually we offer a 30 day guarantee on the bats too. So if you are working it and it does break, no worries, I gotta just reach out to us and we'll replace that for you right away, okay? So I wouldn't worry about the camera bat breaking. As long as we're hitting off the tee and we're following this program, there's not gonna be any issues whatsoever. All right, so if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbats.com and let's get started today. So the next question is, does this program help with bat lag? Uh, it's one of the biggest issues I see with players nowadays is lagging of the bat, right? So yes, this program does help with that because it's gonna teach you the proper mechanics of how to use the lower half and the upper half together, okay? The reason that bat lag is created most of the time is because the front shoulder is flying off and the lower half is not getting the proper rotation that it needs in order to stay inside the ball. So that's what this that's what the All-American 30-Day Program is teaching. It's gonna teach the proper mechanics of how to use the lower half, get the proper rotation, and how to get your hands in the proper position to work inside the ball, okay? So this will help with bat lag issues, all right? I've seen it correct thousands of players issue with that. So yes, this will help. So if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbass.com and let's get started today. So the next question is, do you offer support? Uh, yes, we have many different support lines. Like I said, whenever you uh, get the All-American package today, you're gonna get access to the uh, Discord community. So you're able to access the Camwood coaches through that. You're gonna get access to the uh, text hotline. So you're gonna be able to text uh, the Camwood coaches, anything that you have questions about. And we also have our normal Camwood support. So if you're having any issues with saying like the login's not showing the membership site or you're not having access to the 30-day program after purchasing, you can reach out to support at camwoodbest.com and we'll get that unlocked for you and we'll get you squared away, okay? So yes, we offer every level of support that you possibly need for you to start seeing the results and start seeing this progress. All right, so if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbass.com. Let's get started today. So the next question is, do you offer a money back guarantee? Yes, we offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you go through this program and you don't see the results that we're guaranteeing, I will give you your money back, okay? Full refund, so there's no risk to you at all. That's how confident I am that this program is going to work for you. Okay, because I've done this with almost 20,000 players now. So I know that this program is what you need to be successful, okay? And if you, for any reason, don't see the results, all you gotta do is let us know and we'll give you your money back, okay? So if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbass.com and let's get started today. So the next question is, what is the best results you have heard from this program? Um, my favorite testimonial is the one you heard earlier about Caleb, whose mom was a single mom, had no knowledge of baseball or softball at all. And she saw the program and she opted into it and decided, hey, I'm gonna get my son the best training out there, right? And with no knowledge, she took advantage of the Camwood coaches. She took advantage of the tax hotline and was able to get him the results that they were looking for, okay? Caleb went from barely being able to hit the ball in the infield to hitting 15 home runs 
in just 30 days after we fix his mechanics and increase the bat speed and the power, okay? So this program is extremely powerful. So if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbass.com right now, and let's get started today. So the last question is, uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to text us at our support hotline, okay? And that number is right there. It's 828-558-7015. If you have any questions at all remaining, please text or call that number, and we'll get you squared away so we go ahead and get you inside this program today, okay? So if you're ready to get started, go to go.camwoodbass.com, and let's get started today.